Hello guys, just want to have this quick clip in here before we start the podcast, but I just want to clarify really that my guest who I'm joined with today, Shivam, uh, we didn't know each other before we recorded this and we didn't really spend a lot of time planning it, but he's basically come up with this idea that I think is pretty cool, he's entered into this uh, competition, he's actually managed to get into the top nine finalists and I think it'd be great if you could just listen to his idea and what he's got to share and then hopefully you can go on and vote for him then um the date is currently the 20th of may 2020 and the voting actually does close tonight at midnight but i'm going to link it in the description if you can vote for him that would be great uh, well just a massive help and just so great and yeah hopefully we can see his idea become a reality i also just want to apologize for the audio in this video it was filmed with skype so it might be a bit well not the clearest but it doesn't matter. But yeah, hope you enjoy listening. Thanks. Hello guys and welcome back to Wes Life. Uh, this is episode 37 now and I'm joined um, with a special guest, uh, Shivam. So, Hi. A very warm welcome to you, Shivam. This is very interesting, I guess, for both of us because uh, we don't actually know each other. We um, It's for a mutual friend that this is set up. Um, so, welcome, I guess, Shivam, anyway. But, yeah, so, I I, um, I was on Instagram the other day and noticed that you were you were on the radio and you was actually promoting, um, well, I'll let you talk about it, but you were promoting an idea of something that people can do while we're in this lockdown with uh, coronavirus at the minute. But uh, just tell us a, a bit about yourself, um, who you are, where you're from, and what you kind of do, if that's all right. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Shivam. Nice to meet you, um, and thanks for having me on your show. Um, I'm 15. I live in Cardiff in Wales, um, and I'm in year 11. Um, and yeah, like you mentioned, I've just literally gotten to be on this podcast through a mutual friend, and I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, I do want to get more guests on as well. I have expressed that a lot. If you want to be a guest on the podcast, just let me know because I'm happy to have anyone on, really. But yeah, um, so I saw I saw you had this idea, and you were on the radio, and it seemed pretty interesting to me. So that's why I thought I'd try and get in contact, see if you wanted to come on. Uh, do you want to just share about that idea and what it is? Yeah, so it's about creating an immersive virtual one experience. Um, it was basically, I kind of made the idea and developed the idea because of this thing called the Ideas World Cup, which is this global competition on creating solutions to the world's problems. Um, and my idea um, actually got into the final top nine. Um, and so they've kind of opened a voting stage now. I and mean, that's super exciting because the idea could actually become a possibility now. Mm. Yeah. So if it's, if it's a global thing, how many people actually enter into it? Because I've uh, I've never really like heard of it myself before, but um, yeah, so sounds pretty big to be honest. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so it was one thousand five hundred and seventy nine entries overall from like cities around the world, and then my idea is the only one from Cardiff and the, from the UK that's left. So yeah. So the only one from the UK. Yeah, the only one. <laughs> oh, congratulations! That's pretty amazing to be honest. Thanks, mate. And so, like, it's just all uh, different ideas and ways that you can, um, well, I guess, deal or things that you can do while we're in lockdown. Yeah, so it, it, it is around that idea of, like, this year's theme is on COVID-19, of course, and that means helping solve problems for COVID-19. And I myself got really frustrated because of runs and marathons being cancelled and I'm just a really sporty person. I love I love sports, and so I really wanted to create like a virtual run experience because the ones I found online weren't very good for me, at least. And so I kind of just made the idea, like wrote about it, kind of researched about it, and then I think it was good. So people liked it, and it got to the final. That, yeah, that's pretty good. Um... So have you, while we've been in lockdown, what kind of things have you um, been doing yourself, other than obviously designing this idea and 
having it, well, get so much uh, attention? Yeah, um, to be honest, um, I think I'm living the classic lockdown life in the sense of it's like it's ha it's half boredom, but half like trying to discover new things, trying to do new mm -hmm. things um, and trying to just explore different habits and routines, which I couldn't do when school was on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to learn the language. Yeah, oh, you're trying to learn a language? Yeah. Fair play to you. I mean, I've, I uh, I tried learning Italy a while back, but I didn't get very far. Italian, sorry, not Italian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't get very far with it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, I think it's difficult. People need things to do while we're in lockdown. And I guess a lot of people are trying new things. Have you learned any, like, new skills while we've been in lockdown? Um not new skills i've just been trying to develop just everything that i want to that i started um and it's, it's just been really good in the sense that i've just been able to explore things in more in depth mm. which i couldn't do before yeah how, how um how did you find it being in school while um we were in lockdown um well i think it is hard because obviously you're not in class um but I think everyone's adapted really quickly, like the students have adapted quickly, the teachers have adapted quickly um, and they've really tried to put on the support and really prepared well for it, I think, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is surprising like how how well people have actually dealt with it and it's, it's really weird that this is now just, it's been going on for so long now, it's kind of just a normal thing that people are kind of used to. Yeah. It's crazy to me and... I don't know, like, I feel like once this is all over and we're like maybe like 10 years from now, we'll look back and this would be like such a crazy thing that we've experienced in life. But, I mean, we're living for it at the minute and we got to try and do what we can and make the best of the situation, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry, you can say whatever you want. And I was just going to say, I totally agree with you. Um, and I think it is very much about making the most of the situation that we have right now and making the most of the resources that we can access yeah so you um as you went on the radio what was uh how was that as an experience like for yourself oh i actually really loved it um the host claire samuels was so nice and lovely um and they were just really supportive um of that experience um and it was it was just such a nice thing to do you know because that's not something that happens normally for people um and it was just it was just a nice very exhilarating experience i gotta say so yeah pretty good like i yeah i think it'd be a great experience to be on the radio maybe one day i can get on there myself but <laughs> i'm happy for you man uh, it's great so um if people do want to vote for your idea obviously we want to try and um well support our country you being the only one in the uk left in this competition how can people vote for you so I would say the easiest way is to go on the Child Friendly City Cardiff's website. Um, and if you go on their Ideas World Cup page, they got like a loads of information and they have a really short step-by-step -step guide on how to do it, like with links and things. Um, or you can just go on the Ideas World Cup page, register, find the idea, it's called Virtual City Runs. And then you can just click the heart at the bottom and yeah, that's how you vote. Mm. I'll, I'll I'll give you the links after this if you yeah, want, so and then I'll, you can put I'll, it in. I'll link it in the description, so you can go and vote for that. Uh, unfortunately, though, the vote uh, well, the voting closes tonight. Um, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, midnight. Yeah. So that's why we're recording this now, and I'll get it uploaded. So if you are watching this, do please go and vote uh, before midnight. That would be a great help to Shabam, and hopefully we can see well his idea become a reality i think that'd be amazing um okay. yeah um normally shivam when when i have a um well when i release an episode at the end i normally have a segment where i say uh well i, I call it wise words with wes so i normally okay. share some wise words well or, <laughs> or to some extent but when i've got a guest on i try and ask them if they've got any kind of wise words or any a little bit of wisdom oh, that they might want to share. I'm, I apologise, I didn't actually ask you this before, and if you've got anything <laughs> to share. Oh, wow. Um, I 
I feel a bit flattered, to be honest. I don't think I have any wise words to say. I don't have a lot of experience in life. Um, all I can say is make the most of your situation. I know it's not great, but I guess adapt and just live life to its fullest. So, yeah. Fair enough, yeah. I would, I would agree with that. While we're in this situation, we do need to just make the most of it. Um, and we are all in this situation as a country at the minute. Make the most of the weather today, because the weather's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Loving us on New Year's. Yeah, get outside. Enjoy the time out there. Yeah, thank you very much for being on, the, well, on my podcast, Siobhan. It's been interesting. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. And like I said, guys, if you would like to be a guest, um, then do get in contact with me, because I'm happy to have pretty much anyone on, because, uh, yeah, it'd be great. But thank you very much for listening, and I hope to see you all next time. Cheery bye.